Hey guys, welcome back to Meet Academy. Sorry, you don't mind my voice. I have flu, but you have to keep on making videos, right? Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to do a seamless uh, background. As you can see, if you are like me, I don't have paper backdrops. I use this Muslim type of material for my studio shoes. So I'm going to show you how to easily get a seamless uh, background. So I'm going to show you about two to three methods on how you can do this and you choose which one works best for you. So let's go into it. So the first thing I want to show you is how to expand these edges. As you can see, this background is very small. I'm going to show you how to expand these edges so that your picture looks full. So the first thing I do is I select this ratio, 4 by 5. Why 4 by 5? 4 by 5 is the ratio for Instagram. Instagram is actually one by one or four by five, but four by five it's nicer. It makes more sense. So let's do this. Let's just expand this. Okay. Okay. So what you wanna do is take this selection rectangle selection tool. It's over here. The rectangle selection tool. Then go to this side. So on Mac, press Command, Command T. Then on Windows it's Command on Windows it's uh, Control T. Then on Mac it's Command T. So once you do, you do that, it shows this blue box. So you want to press Command on Mac, then Control on Windows. Then you stretch here, just like that. That's how you expand the background. So we're gonna do the same thing this side. The rectangle selection tool, select the part you want to expand, press Ctrl, Ctrl T on Windows and Command T on Mac for transformation. Then you press the command whilst you're holding the control, the command drag where you want to stretch it like that. Just like that. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm really really sick. But we have to make these videos. Okay. So now we have the perfect ratio. We have stretched out our background. Make sure when you're stretching, don't touch the subject. Don't touch the subject. Because it will expand the subject also like this. You see? It is messy. Okay. So the first uh, type of uh, slimmer's background uh, effect I'm going to show you. I haven't seen it in YouTube, on YouTube yet. Maybe it's there, but... I just discovered it on my own. I haven't seen it yet. So the first method I'm going to show you is the green, the gradient type. So these methods are gonna work depending on how good you do your selection. So we just go here, select, and select subject. Okay, then select inverse. Uh, duplicate this layer. It's just for we have something to compare with when you're done. So we just duplicate the layer, go on gradient, click gradient. Okay. So, so probably when you open your gradient the first time, it's gonna be like this. Let me find the basics of gradient. It's gonna be something like this. So when you open your gradient for the first time, it's gonna look something like this. So what you wanna do is create the gradient which matches this background. So let's do this. Oh, so you want to select the first part. You have to open this uh, color picker tool. You want to pick the color which is close to the subject, but a bit light. That's it. So for the second part, you want to select a part which is a bit dark, but close to the subject like this one. That's it. We've created a gradient. So you want to make a transition at the end, a bit, a little transparent at the end so what you want to do is move this thing uh, reduce the opposite to zero then create another point after that one increase the opposite to 100 just like that we have created a, a gradient for this background so the good thing about this it will make let's say new we have made another a new gradient so we can just use this one, the new one. 
So what you want to do, just press OK. Then go to the top of your, your picture. Then just slide down. Just overlap a bit. Voila. Give a seamless background. So you don't want to go the way Y. Was it to make your picture flat and to make your subject look like she's flying? Let me show you like this. See, doesn't make sense. It's nice, but it doesn't make sense. Your subject looks like she's flying. So what you want to do is just top just a bit over the picture like here. See, you have that corner here, which makes your subject uh, stand on the ground. So after that, you want to go to filter, play, surface play. Okay, you can just copy the settings as they are here, 115. They'll work the best like that. And press OK. It's done. Let's see? You have a seamless background, so you can just fix up the bottom of the background using a mixer brush. I think I told you how to use a mixer brush on one of my videos. You can just copy the settings as they are. So you're just moving back and forth, 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 back and forth. And we did a really good job. Let me show you the before and after. Before, after, before, after. This is really really nice so this process depends on how good is your selection this was easy we just used the subject selection and did a good job but sometimes it's ai it needs a little help on your selections it depends on how good is your selection i think i'll do a full video on selection how to properly select your subject but for this one i'm just gonna you'll be using the subject selection another pro tip when it comes to the gradient uh next time you want to use it you just click gradient as you can see it's, it's opening the previous one that we used when we did this picture if not you can just go and look for it here it's over here this one's the one we made when we said new and we made this gradient map so the next time you use it let me try another picture let's open this picture so the next time you use it you don't have to go through much just click it so you just change these two colors go here select a lighter color close to the subject go here select a darker color but close to the subject mm. yeah this is dark just do the same thing let's go to selection subject selection okay we have selected the subject let's inverse it inverse let me take this gradient you see you've already selected the colors you just overlap a bit like this sorry that's too much let's see here then filter play surface play see how easy is that how easy is that press ok you can just voila we're done we have created a seamless background just like that. As I told you, it depends on how good your selection is. I will do a full video on selection, but the subject selection, I think, is doing a really, really good job on those pictures. As you can see, we still have our shadows. Yeah, just like that. Oh, another tip on the background. You can see if it looks a little flat, you take the array at the circle selection to just make a circle. Say control, um, press the right click, then invest, go on curves, reduce the curves, like this, go to filter, play, cash and play. You want to make sure you go all the way up, all the way up, like this. You create a, a depth to your picture, a sort of a depth, see, flat, depth, flat, depth makes your picture pops out on the center it's like a vignette but you're creating it on your own so let's try the other method okay so it's the same process it's select subject
then invert or inverse let's duplicate this layer for reference sake okay so this time we're gonna go to filter play gallery then tilt shift I think most of people use this effect on outdoor shoots but you can actually do it on studio shoots okay you want to turn off all of this they might be open they might be turned on the, the moment you open this shooter for the first time so you just want to turn them off then you go to the tilt shift move it down it opens a grid like this move it down to the end and just increase the blur just like that simple like that this one is really good because it maintains the shadows as you can see there's a shadow over here a really good light shadow you can take it all the way if you want like this but your subject will look like she's flying as i said so you just press ok okay so this process is the same you want to go to filter play then surface play So that in press OK. Okay, you wanna go on the mixer brush and just fix up the ground part. The mixer brush is just back and forth, back and forth. As I told you, you can copy the settings as they are. Uh, you wanna make sure you don't select this object like this just wanna push just like this we're just cleaning up the control d for deselect control d or deselect command d on mac for deselection so these are the two methods i've been using so guys i hope this helps when you're editing please just like subscribe share to others who would love this information and thank you for watching.